Hello and welcome to the show. Yeah, miniature cameras, PTZ, box cameras, and actually a few more bits and pieces along the way are a speciality of Marshall Electronics. And back on the show today is Todd Musgrave, all the way from California, again to discuss recent developments in their camera range. Hi, Todd. Welcome back. Nice to see you. Absolutely. Thanks for having me again, guys. Always a pleasure. Now, it Todd, we, we spoke last time about the CV568 uh, miniature global shutter cameras with Genlock Sync. Um, where are we right now with those cameras? So we're, we're out in the market with them. We released them uh, like everything during COVID, right? And, and, and delays in uh, <laughs> shipping, you know, around the world has gotten crazy. Um, we, we are now uh, fully released in the market with the 568, which you see here. Um, very small, compact, yeah. as, as we previously talked about. The global shutter uh, for those fast-paced action type things like racing. Uh, we get a lot of racing in Europe, yeah. obviously. You guys seem to be doing a lot of racing over there. So, so we <laughs> so fast-paced motion, whether it's whether it's on board or, or it's next to the track. Uh, you know, we're, we're really getting a lot of applications yeah. to adopt this camera. Uh, and again, larger pixels, larger sensor size. Uh, so it can uh, it can capture those dynamic light environments when when it's a cloudy day like here in California today or the sun comes out uh, the global shutter uh, is very dynamic in that way. Any news, of course, on your PTZ range? You've yeah you've you've, you've been expanding that and, and improving on your we range have. There for, for for a while now. Yeah, go on. Indeed, and and, and as you know, PTZ cameras has really taken uh, off in a lot of variety of different applications in pro AV as well as broadcast. Uh, what we were missing was an entry level uh, camera. So we now have a 5X optical zoom uh, PTZ camera in the 605. So it's the CV 605 BK for the black color and yeah. uh, W8 for the white color. Uh, but the advantage here on that camera is entry level price point at under 900 US dollars. Uh, it starts at a very wide angle, 85 oh, wow. degree ang angle of view. So it's uh, you know, for people that need uh, kind of a wide angle of view in their in their production, uh, it's yeah. a very good camera. But it also has 3G SDI. It has the IP interface, so you can run that one cable uh, to camera for all functions, uh, as well as uh, we have an HDMI and a USB version coming out uh, within the next month. Talk to us, Todd, about your continued collaboration with um, applications like vMix, OBS, and so on. Indeed, and, and, and we spend a lot of time on that. Um, so on the 605, just like our other IP cameras, we'll have the OBS plugins. Uh, we, I just finished uh, collaboration with vMix on a few bits and pieces mm -hmm. as far as making sure uh, new cameras have full compatibility with our uh, NDI cameras as well as our IP cameras. Um, so uh, we also are still working with BR Remote and the PTZ head. So we have, uh, we're still yeah. offering these PTZ heads uh, with a full range of control uh, sources that BR yeah. Remote makes. Yeah. But these little guys are, are, are really starting to take off uh, because of the size and the capability of, of mounting a variety of cameras on it, at least in the smaller range POV size. Um, it, we're also recently worked with uh, Scarhoy to make sure our full line of cameras is compatible uh, with their control platform. So. It, it certainly takes a lot of time, uh, but but we actually look forward to seeing a lot of them at uh, IBC this year. Uh, and and you know, talking about that, before we get to the crux of IBC, have you got any anything you're working on? Anything coming up to IBC? We're going to see anything new there from you? Uh, so we'll be showing the the global shutter, and 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 uh, we'll be showing the six hundred five, uh, the entry level PTZ. We also have yeah. an EPTZ we're working on. Actually, I'm using that now. Um, the EPTZ has, uh, it's interesting in that it's a 4K sensor and you'll be able to okay. move within the 4K image with an HD image and uh, pan, tilt and zoom it electronically. Uh, it also have, uh, uh, okay. it will also have auto framing. So if you have, say if I had somebody else join, uh, you know, this interview, uh, the camera would adjust yeah. slightly with the with the with the slight electronic pan, and it will tighten the shot a little bit or widen it if it needs to. So I'll have uh, a little bit of AI uh, self adjusting type functions, but it will be a 4K 60 sensor, fixed lens, and the capability of EPTZ, um, and it will have uh, yeah. an IP interface as well as uh, an HDMI interface. Oh, and USB. I'm sorry. 
that's what I'm using now, the USB output. Okay. What, yeah. what type of applications do you see the AI being used in, Todd? Um, quite a bit in office or corporate video, but also any kind of interview in a studio where uh, you want to adjust. Again, if I, if I start sliding off to the left, uh, the camera will, will follow, right? I don't have it enabled now, but, but the idea is that if, you, if it has some self-adapting, whether you expand the panel, if you're in an interview, perhaps, uh, the camera will widen mm -hmm. up and adjust to make sure that the, the participants are framed in the shot. Mm -hmm. um, so a wide range of things, you know, not so much in, say, sports production necessarily, but maybe sports interviewing uh, or uh, commentating, that kind of thing. Mm. Cool. Yeah, we'll have to do a technology. Perhaps, uh, hopefully, it'll be ready and working on the stand at IBC. You never know. I'm, I'm, I'm working towards that. So, so we'll at least be showing the global shutters, the entry level PTZs and our range of POVs. Yeah. But I want to bring that EPTZ because it really is compelling. Not only is it a great uh, video quality in 4K range uh, and 60 frames per second, but uh, that capability, I think, is unique. And, and a lot more people are using uh, 4K images and, and, and either doing it during interviews or, or in posts or moving within the 4K image uh, to capture the exact yeah. shot yeah, they yeah. want to get. Brilliant, Todd. Thanks. So, uh, as far as your distributors are concerned, the, 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 the two European distributors, who are they? Where can we see more? So, our two master distributors are Marcam for uh, the UK and, and parts of the yeah. EU. Also, Vision to See in Germany handles a lot of the EU. They both will be there at the IBC show uh, in our booth to, uh, to make contact and to speak about uh, sourcing the product uh, in your regions. Brilliant. Thank you very much. We'll see you there, if not at the stand, at the bar. Uh, and of course, there's always more information at marshall-usa.com. Thank you very much to Media Proxy for their continued support of Kit Plus TV. And thank you for watching. See you next time.